According to top leaders of the January 6th Commission, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is making baseless claims about Donald Trump's involvement surrounding the January 6th insurrection. This Labor Day weekend, they called out McCarthy. For more on this, we turn now to our D.C. correspondent, Bofta Yaman. Tell us more about what McCarthy said and the fallout. Well, good morning, Naja. During an interview, McCarthy said the FBI concluded that Trump had no involvement in the insurrection. Now, he made this suggestion based on an anonymous report, but Representatives Benny Thompson and Liz Cheney say when that report first came out, the select committee made inquiries with various agencies involved in it. The pair goes on to say, quote, we've received answers and briefings from the relevant entities, and it's been made clear to us that reports of such a conclusion are baseless. We will continue to pursue all elements of this investigation in a nonpartisan and thorough manner. According to reports, the Special House Committee is planning to seek phone records from former President Donald Trump and other Republicans in the Stop the Steal rallies. This could lead to scrutiny of records for 11 GOP members and also Trump's children. And the possibility has caused a flare-up of controversy within the GOP. Take a listen here. The question is, what is our party going to be? Are we going to be the party of opportunity and hope or the party of anger, division, and truth has no place in it? And if Andy Biggs has his way, we will be the party where truth tellers and people that want to stand up for the Constitution, like Liz Cheney uh, and myself, get kicked out of the party because there's no room for truth. So uh, I would encourage the, uh, the rest of my colleagues in the Republican Party to not just passively resist that move, but to, to do it open and honestly, not because of me. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not worried about my future on that, but because the party uh, desperately needs some people to stand up and tell the truth. This is purely political and how Nancy Pelosi has handled this. You, but you the idea to go after Americans, it, it, if Congress is allowed to go forward with this, they can go after any Americans' phone numbers that they want. And it's unconstitutional. I got now, in their joint statement, Thompson and Cheney also reminded Minority Leader McCarthy of his statements made shortly after the attack on January 6, which were inconsistent with his recent remarks. Back in January, he called the violent attack on the Capitol unacceptable, undemocratic, and un-American. Naja. And Bota, this doesn't seem to be stopping at the commission. We understand that there's now a watchdog group calling for an ethics investigation into McCarthy. Right, and we'll see where this goes, but they are saying he improperly threatened telecom companies. And on Friday, the Citizens for, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics filed a complaint against him. This comes after McCarthy warned telecom companies that Republicans would not forget if they comply with committee requests for phone records. The group alleges the threat to shut down telecom companies could be construed as obstruction of a congressional investigation. McCarthy says there is constitutional precedent, as we heard in that soundbite, making it illegal for Congress to ask that his phone records be preserved. So this is, Naja, basically, bottom line here, a fight for the records and uh, what side many folks will fall on, depending if they're with the GOP, depending if they're um, with the Democratic Party, what their belief system is, because some feel like this could be a copycat for future things, as we heard Kevin McCarthy say, and others say, no, these records are extremely important as part of the January 6th investigation. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, both to Yiman, live in Washington, D.C. Thank you for your insight this morning.